you to do is to focus on. Um, oh, oh, hey. Um, uh, I just thought I'd go ahead and uh, sort of give some tips on what I think is a good, quick filmmaking technique instead of taking some time to animate things on the computer or even uh, stop motion animation. It takes a very long time, of course. So, anytime I see something like this, right, that has its own little uh, easy motion built into it, I start thinking, you know, what can I film with this, right? You know, because look at it, look at it go, you know? It's like ready-made to be filmed. So, I just want to do a quick thing on some of the things I think you can do with something like this. You can come up with your own ideas, of course, but it's just basic techniques for using uh, something that is easily controlled, manipulated uh, by hand. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what we come up with. So anyway, um, what I was thinking about for this next shot is picture this. You're walking down the road, right? and all of a sudden, you turn the corner, and the obligatory coffee shop scene, of course. I mean, here you can set up plot lines and uh, conflict. It's good to keep in mind that uh, you know modern audi audiences aren't exactly savvy or, or very well educated, really. So it's probably best not to get too intellectual or too highbrow about uh, the scenes that you that you uh, write and shoot, unless it's an art film. Then, 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 uh, maybe. for my close-up now. It's always good to keep in mind a uh, desire, passion, uh, longing uh, for something. Uh, this is a universal theme and, and, and you can rarely go wrong with it. So if you want to go in that...